the first sets of people I'm speaking to are those who there is still hope in the midst of their situation. Water can still be turned to wine. Your water is not ashes. It still gives life as water. It only needs to be turned to wine. Therefore, I pray for you. Remember that men are not your source. They are only channels. The real source. Praise God. Get ready to experience the boundless love and unwavering promises of God. Welcome to Dominion House TV, where Apostle Joshua Selma shares life-changing messages that will ignite your faith, revive your spirit, and empower you to walk in victory and purpose. Join us on this transformative journey as we delve into the world, confront limitations, and unleash the miraculous power of God's presence in our lives. Remain blessed as you listen. Every situation that can change by the power that raised Christ from the dead, we enforce change now. Every situation that can change, health situation, marriage situation, job situation, career situation, in the name of Jesus, let water be turned to wine. In the name of Jesus, let there be a solution now. then the other set are those whose trees have become wood wood have become coals coals have become ashes there's no need water turning to wine i pray for you first and foremost the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday I say it again, the grace to be free from the grip of yesterday. And then I decree and declare, receive beauty for ashes. It may not be as you expected, but may it come in another form that still glorifies God in your life. It may not be as you expected, but I'm saying it again, may it come in another form that still glorifies God. Receive beauty for ashes in your finances beauty for ashes in your marriage beauty for ashes in your spiritual life beauty for ashes over the testimony of your life beauty for ashes in the name of jesus christ i still pray that you will receive a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that you will be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified in your life everything that represents shame everything that represents hopelessness i pray for you let the balm in gilead bring you healing healing over death healing over tragedies healing over calamities healing over losses in the name of jesus for someone i speak to you prophetically remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old i decree and declare you open up your eyes and see god is doing a new thing god is doing a new thing for someone a new thing may mean a new job for someone it may be another child to replace the one that died for someone god will give you hope over a testimony you have lost in the name of jesus christ father you have given me this message and i brought it to your people the grace that follows this message let it be deposited upon this teaching let it be deposited upon your people that everyone who listens to this teaching will find hope and for they who are the hearers like revelation says let them be blessed because their ears have heard this truth in the name of jesus the grace to walk in keeping with all the keys that i've shared and i pray that many of you will come to testify here that you gave up your ashes and in exchange you got beauty that will be your testimony this week i say it again that you gave up ashes and you received as a replacement beauty receive testimonies this week good news this week i say it again testimonies this week good news this week elevation this week may your hands hold good things may your ears hear good reports as you travel you are blessed i declare safety for you in jesus mighty name we pray thank you for joining us in this powerful moment of worship and wisdom may the teachings of apostle joshua Samuel remain in your heart and mind inspiring you to walk in faith 
hope and victory. May God's presence continue to guide and empower you on your journey. Blessings and peace to you in Jesus' name.